Hey guys, Vizerlo Productions here, and in this video, I'm gonna be doing something just a little bit different. I have a new passion for building computer hardware. Now, this doesn't mean that I'm building all my normal gaming news style of videos, but I just thought that I should try something different for a change. So today, I'm gonna be suggesting you a build which is called the Leopard. The Leopard is a 900 US dollar gaming PC that features specs such as the Ryzen 5 1500X, GTX 1060, and more. Because I clearly don't have the funds to actually put together this PC, I haven't actually built it myself, but I have checked the compatibility with the parts, and they all seem to work together nicely. Alright, so now let's get into the build. Starting off, we have the Ryzen 5 1500X processor. This is a quad-core processor that comes with the AMD Wraith Spire cooler. For around 230 Canadian dollars or 190 US dollars, this is a great CPU that will steer the Leopard forward. As of right now, on Amazon.com, this processor is also on sale, with $19 knocked off the original price, just letting you know, in case you did want to order this in December 2017. Next up, we have the MSI B350M Pro VD Plus AM4 motherboard. Now for around $70, you're actually getting what looks like a fairly decent micro ATX motherboard. Now sure, it might not be as big as a full ATX motherboard, but for what it is, it's pretty difficult to complain. So for RAM, we have the Elite Plus 8GB DDR4 stick for $84. US While 8GB is not the best amount of RAM for gaming, it's still a pretty good amount. And of course, if you want later, you can just add another stick into the mix. But that's where the EVGA 500B power supply comes in. For around $50, you're getting a 500 watt power supply with an 80 plus bronze rating. On top of that, EVGA power supplies are usually pretty high quality. For storage, there's the 2TB Seagate Firecuda SSHD drive. Now in 2017, you're going to need an SSD, but with a hybrid drive like this, you can put Windows and other important files on the SSD part of the drive, and other stuff like your Steam library and more on the hard drive part. And now for the star of the show, we have the EVGA GTX 1060 graphics card. For a lot of games, the 1060 from EVGA should be good enough. While it might not be able to run Crisis at max settings in 4K, it can still do quite a lot. And finally, the case that will be housing all of these parts is the Corsair 200R ATX mid-tower case. Corsair cases have a pretty positive reputation, and this case is no exception, getting around a 5 star rating in general. For our build, this case will be all we will really ever need from a case. Now if you want to customize this build, and if you want to see where to order the parts for this computer, I'll have a link to PC Part Picker in the description. This website is phenomenal for computer builds, as it will check over your build and let you know if there will be any issues. Unfortunately, this computer was built using the .ca version of PC Part Picker, so if you live anywhere else other than Canada, there might be a problem. However, I will link the parts separately in the description for multiple countries as well. I hope you all did enjoy this video. If you did actually build this computer for yourself, let me know how it went in the comments. And again, I hope you enjoyed, and see you.